To write the formula for strontium phosphide, the first thing we need to do is write the element symbols. So we have strontium, that's SR, and then phosphide, this IDE, that means it's going to be just a single element. We'll have P here for the phosphide. Now that we've got the element symbols for strontium phosphide, we need to look up the charges. Strontium, that's a metal. Phosphorus is a nonmetal. So this is an ionic compound. We should look at the charges, make sure they add up to zero. So let's look at the periodic table. We find strontium, which is right here. And strontium is in group two, two plus ionic charge. And then phosphorus right here below nitrogen, three minus. Put a three minus after that. So we have the ionic charges for each element. Since strontium phosphide, it's a neutral compound. We don't have the word ion written after it. We need to make sure these charges balance, which is a little difficult. We have two plus and three minus. So we're going to use the crisscross method to do this. We'll move the three here and the two here. Let's remove these symbols. And that gives us SR3P2 is the formula for strontium phosphide. But let's check our work. We said strontium group two, two plus, and then the phosphide ion three minus. Three times two plus, that's six plus. Two times three minus is six minus. So these two numbers, they add up to zero, give us a net charge of zero. This is the correct formula for strontium phosphide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.